everybody. I am here <laughs> with a plan with me. I'm so sorry that I missed last week, but y'all, I have a story to tell you. <laughs> so with that, let's just jump right in. So I was actually inspired by this old school color story sticker book and just like feeling a little bit of nostalgia for like the planner community and the happy planner world and all of that and just like you know being here and all of that so I found these stickers and I actually like oh my heart like skipped a beat when I saw this plan a happy life with the old logo on there and I just wanted to do that and then I found in this sticker book this is the new mega sticker book not new I guess this was from the fall collection I found these ones and like this black and white disc sticker I thought would be really cute and then some of these discs like throughout and then I also found this little disc sticker and yeah so I think I'm just gonna kind of go that route so like a fun plannery disc type spread this week in my classic planner and like I don't know I just am loving this cover and it's just so cute so all right so monthly is done okay and then we are we are not on this week anymore I did not get this week planned but I think I'm gonna go back and like back plan or memory plan I think is what we call that just because I like to have all of my stickers in there and I've been doing a really good job and it helps me to stay focused to have all of my plans in there so this week I have a follow-up dentist appointment on Tuesday Delilah has ours on Tuesday and then we have a Mother's Day on Fri Friday on Sunday and then I am taking my mom to brunch with my aunt and we're gonna do that and then I don't know like what I'm doing with the kids and that kind of thing later on Mother's Day so I guess we will see <sighs> yeah so I guess we'll kind of see how that goes I am so happy to be back you guys and I'm just so happy honestly to be like upright <laughs> honestly that sounds terrible but that is where I'm at that's how I feel I just <sighs> so here's the thing here's the story about a week ago I started having just this pain in what like my sinus area so I thought I had just had a cold like the week prior and so I thought I was getting like a sinus infection I was like oh my gosh now this is like developed into something else <laughs> I'm gonna get a sinus infection great like that is just perfect <sighs> I was so bummed and I just was like okay well you know it is what it is so let's just uh, let's just figure this out and so attempting to figure this out um I started like calling around and I realized that I also had not been to the dentist in a while and I thought okay well maybe maybe I'll start there because I actually kind of had been thinking that I might have like a couple of cavities and so I was like okay well I will start with the dentist and so and then if that doesn't like clear up the pain then I will go and like get my antibiotics for my sinus infection and you know all of that so I end up like making an appointment of course I think that I probably waited a bit too long to make the appointment. I probably should have tried to get in earlier. And then by the next day, it was just like absolutely excruciating. Like I was in so much pain. And so I go in and the dentist like takes one look at my teeth and she's like, okay, well, you need to have a root canal. And I was like, okay so we like she walked me through everything and showed me like what was going on and all of that and you know we talked about the process and I've never actually had anything like that before I had always been like prior to COVID I'd always been like a every six month like a dentist visit you know I had been really good about it especially ever since we had dealt with everything with Harrison's teeth and I'm not sure if you guys are familiar but he had like three teeth that actually had to be extracted when he was like four due to like over nursing and bottle rot and that kind of thing and so even like especially since then but even before that I had been like so careful with my teeth but then 
during COVID, I'm not sure exactly why or like what happened, but I kind of just like, I was like, meh, you know, I don't need to go every six months. You know, I'm not going right now. I'm not able to go right now. And so then I just think that I like got out of the habit of going, honestly. And then I, you know, just basically stopped going to my every six month visits. And I had been meaning to like get back in. And now here we are in 2023. And, you know, life just had kind of gotten away from me. Yeah, I had hoped to get back in, but I just had not really like done that or made it a priority, even though I totally should have. I did not get in when I should have. That is definitely something that I will not ever do again because I don't know if any of you have ever dealt with tooth pain or like anything in your mouth having to do with an infection. So included with the like bad cavity that I had, there was also like an abscess, right? <laughs> like there was a, an infection going on underneath the tooth, which had actually like gone into my cheek. Like my cheek was so swollen, you guys. And it was like red and hot. And so we like talked about it and they called around when I was there because so what happens is the dentist does not do the root canal, the one that I see. So she had to call someone who was an endodontist to get the root canal done. I did not know that these were like separate things and you had to go somewhere else. And this endodontist was out of network and required like a deposit that was a very expensive. And so I was like, well, I don't know if I can like swing that right now. So I had to wait until my next payday to actually like get that done. And we actually, so I didn't actually end up having to wait until the next payday. We found some room on a credit card that we have and we ended up just being like, okay, well, we'll put the deposit there and then we'll pay it off like as soon as I get my payday, which is what happened. And man, like, uh, that is something that makes me realize that I need to have more in my savings for sure because like I don't know things like this just like pop up randomly you know so that was great so they called around got tried to get me an appointment but I could not go in until later because of you know financial stuff so I finally like get in and I'm able to get this appointment. I waited, but before I did, I waited all weekend. So I saw the regular dentist on Thursday and they were actually hoping to get me in to see the endodontist for the root canal on Friday, but I couldn't do that because I had not had a payday and all this stuff. So I needed to wait. And so, oh my gosh, I was just in like an unreal amount of pain. Like I don't know if you guys, again, have ever dealt with tooth pain or anything like that, but if you have not, I do not wish this on like my worst enemy. Like honestly, it was the one of the most horrible things that I've ever gone through. And you can't really like compare pain, but I've had two kids <laughs> and either like I am not remembering correctly or that was way worse than I remembered, you know, anything having to do with having kids. So it was pretty bad. <laughs> so we're talking like I was, so I was instructed to take like Tylenol and then Motrin and like swap them back and forth every four to six hours. They really ideally wanted me to wait till every six. But honestly, like I was not even making it until like every three hours. Like I was having to take one or the other every three hours until I actually found some incredible CBD oil from our neighbor. They just like, gave it to us, which was amazing because it was like super expensive, <laughs> like cost a lot of money. I think they may have gotten it from a family member or a friend or something, but still very generous of them to just be so helpful and so kind with us or with me in general. And it just so happened that it was like the busiest weekend as well. Like we had a birthday party, two birthday parties. So one was actually for one of our neighbors who was amazing and super sweet and just a really good friend of ours. And then another one was for one of our other neighbors kiddos. 
and I was planning to like take the kids and like do all of this stuff and it was just going to be really fun. And Brian had planned to get ahead on some work stuff over the weekend. But like honestly, he is such a trooper. You know, he picked up the slack where I could not I could not even like move half the time. Like I was just like writhing in pain. I like couldn't do anything. It was terrible. And there were like moments where like my pain was controlled a little bit, but it was overall like I was just mostly in pain, like for the majority of the time. And honestly, you guys, this, it was absolutely terrible. I don't know how to really like say it any other way, but it was the worst pain. And then also knowing that like I couldn't do anything, like I couldn't call somebody, I couldn't like go to the doctor and like get it fixed because it was the weekend and nobody is available <laughs> over the weekend. So just knowing that I had to like ride it out the whole weekend, it was awful. Like it was absolutely awful <laughs> and it was, it was terrible. But you know, I had finally like gotten to a point on Monday morning, like I researched what time this endodontist opened on Monday morning. And I was like, I cannot take any more. I can't do this anymore. I've got to get in. I've got to get like some help. I've got to get this fixed. I've got to just get this like taken care of because I just cannot do this anymore. So I finally like call them first thing Monday morning and I'm like okay we found some room on the credit card and basically what happens is because they're not in network they ask for the deposit up front and then they bill the insurance and then if they're able to cover anything with insurance then they refund you it's basically like a guarantee for them so that like people don't like you know get their work done and then they don't get paid by either insurance or by the person which like I get but it's just like oh man so frustrating so yeah, so I finally like am able to get in and get it like taken care of. But first, okay, so I call them and I'm like, okay, I absolutely have to like get in sometime today. If you possibly can, like if there's any way in the world that I could get in and have an appointment today, that would be absolutely amazing. And they couldn't get me in the same day, but they actually were able to get me in the next day, which was fine. That that worked out just as well. So I ended up getting in on, when was that? Okay, so I ended up having the root canal done on Tuesday. And the root canal itself, like if you are looking at one or like potentially having to have one done in the near future, it was like, no, it's as the procedure itself, it was not bad at all. Honestly, like I would have done anything <laughs> at that point to get out of pain. I really would have. I would have like walked through fire <laughs> to get out of pain at that point. It was, oh, I'm telling you, it was horrible, 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 horrible. I also had not been taking as good of care of my teeth as I probably should have been. So that is definitely a lesson that I have learned is to like prioritize myself. And I feel like part of that is just because I'm a mom, you know, I don't always prioritize taking care of me. I make sure that, you know, everybody else is like taken care of, but I don't always prioritize myself. But from here going forward, at least as far as like my health and like my needs are concerned I am going to like make sure that I am taken care of because I cannot do that again you know I'm gonna be like every six month appointment again and I'm gonna I'm just going to be on it okay <laughs> like it's just going to happen I, I literally cannot do that again that oh my gosh like even just thinking about it I'm like the trauma it was terrible it was absolutely terrible and I'm so glad that it's like mostly over so now I have to go back on Tuesday because what happens is the person who did the root canal only does the root canal and then I go back on Tuesday and my dentist is going to do like the crown and like fixing everything and all of that so she'll make it all she'll do like he said that she does the reconstruction, whatever that means. So I will have my 
tooth all put back together. I will have all everything that I need when I leave there. I think I also, she found another filling in there that had like chipped and it was just an old like silver filling. And I wanted to get, I wanted to get something else like a ceramic filling. So I think that I will be doing that. And yeah, so that is the plan for next week. And then I will be all done with this. I also was on antibiotics for the infection and that is done. So thankful for that. But yeah, very thankful for modern medicine and all that it can do. And just very, very happy that it's over mostly. Oh man, I honestly do hope that none of you ever have to go through that. Or if you have gone through it, like I am just thinking of you. It that is terrible. It was, uh, I don't even have words. It was just so bad. And it, <laughs> you guys might be thinking I'm just like a baby or something like that. But honestly, it was so bad. It was so, it was so bad. And I like was thinking in my head, I was like, okay, if I just take, you know, a couple of Tylenol, then I will be fine. I'm not fine. I was hoping that I could like stay on my recording path and like, because I had been pumping out like videos every day and I felt like I was doing so good. <sighs> but then there was no way. Like if I would have tried to do that, it would have just like wrecked me. Like there's no way that I could have done that. So I had to just like step away for, uh, for the minute. But yeah, that is where I was. <laughs> that is what was going on. Again, so incredibly thankful that it is done mostly. I don't have much more to like worry about. Hopefully, you know, if all goes, if all goes well next week, we will be in the clear <sighs> and all of that. So yeah, moral of the story, take care of those chompers of yours. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself. And yeah, it's great to take care of other people, but we definitely have to take care of ourselves too. So moral of the story, take care of you and make sure that you're doing okay too. So I have basically just like worked through this spread a little bit, just kind of putting some fun stickers down and putting some things around. This is one of my lazier spreads. <laughs> I always call these like my lazy spreads when I'm, whenever like I want to have my planner look cute. But then I don't like, I don't know. I just use like an easy, like an easy couple of books to get back into things. That's kind of the vibe of this. But also like I think it's super cute to have little disc stickers around. So that's fun. So yeah, how have you guys been doing? Let me know how last week was for you. I'm hoping to start posting back to Instagram again soon too. So you should see me back over there. I have been sharing in my stories and I was sharing a little bit over on the community tab here about like what was going on. So make sure that you are checking those places if you ever see that I'm absent. I do my absolute best to update there. Sometimes if it has to do with like my kids or something, I can't. So we just do what we can. But yeah, that is that. I hope you all were having a really good week. Other than that, yeah, we are just like at home kind of winding down to the end of the school year. I feel like my high schooler uh, is ready to be on summer. So I'm like trying my best to motivate her and keep her going strong. I don't know. We've had like a, like a slip in motivation. And I guess I kind of forgot about this like springtime, like summer fever, that kind of thing because she was doing so good. And now it's like, come on, bud. You know, I already graduated once, so you got to do this. And I don't know, like a uh, part of me is like the parent that's like, oh yeah, you should just like let her take the fail and she'll learn like a big lesson from that. Like I'm definitely a parent that likes to let my kids learn lessons, but also like, it's so tough to climb back out of that hole if you fail a class. So like the other part of me, like it doesn't want her to go through that just yet. So I'm hoping she also just has a couple of teachers that I don't know, I don't think get her very well. There's just like some things going on that I'm not like super pleased with. 
So I do have like the teacher lingo in my back pocket, you know, that I will pull out from time to time. So I will definitely do that if I need to. But I also like to like let like step back and like let Delilah kind of take the lead with her school stuff because, you know, I feel like it's important also for kiddos to advocate for themselves. So working on just a lot of lessons <laughs> with my teenager, which is good, but it's like hard. It's hard, you guys. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember like my teenage years being quite as hard, but you know, we all go through different things at different times and I am just here to be in her corner. So that's where that is at. Summer is coming. Oh my gosh. And here in Oregon, like <laughs> it's like, it's either cold. So it's like in the fifties and sixties Fahrenheit with like raining with rain or it's like hot, like 80s, 90s, hot. And I'm just like, could we just find like a happy medium? <laughs> Does it need to be like one extreme or the other? Like, could we please just like, could we just calm down a minute? You know, <laughs> could we just, oh my gosh, could we just take a minute and like be calm? And I don't know, I'm not, I'm not particularly ready for summer weather. I don't know. I'm also not super interested in having the cold dreary weather around for much longer, but I don't know that I'm really ready for like super hot weather either. So, oh my gosh, it's just, it's all, all the things are happening. I am ready to get to summer because I'm kind of ready to, I don't know. I am tired of pack. I pack my kids lunches every day and I'm getting a little bit tired of that. <laughs> but other than that, oh man, I feel like I am, it's going to be a different summer for me as well. Like last summer, you know, I was working as well, but I had like just started this job, like tasks that I'm working on. So it's not quite as like, oh, you're the new guy. Now it's like, oh, you need to get this done. So that's going to be interesting this summer. So before this job, I was a teacher, a, a middle school teacher specifically. So yeah, I mean, I had summers off. So that was like a nice thing that happened, but not so much anymore. It's, it will be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's also interesting because my husband is working again. Like he's always been kind of our stay at home parent and like, taken on a lot of like the kid stuff but now that he's working again I'm like oh man okay I am gonna have to like step it up <laughs> you know and we're gonna just have to get really organized because we both work from home so we're gonna have to just like you know work together and be the be a team and do all that so oh life is just a little stressful at the moment and did not need that added stress of the tooth stuff on top of everything but you know what? It is all going to be okay. I always keep telling myself the little like cliche quotes like, you've survived 100% of your worst days so far. <laughs> it's true. I definitely have survived 100% of those so far. So we'll get there. Everything will be just absolutely fine. But yeah, we're just in a little bit of a like stressy pattern. But I am so glad that I have this like creative outlet to... Oh, just like soothe my soul a little bit. Like even though it's a lot of work to create content, like post YouTube videos, it's also like very soothing for me. Like being here, being on YouTube specifically, it's just like one of my favorite things. It's just like, I don't know, it's very comforting. I've done it for a long time. And not only is it like a creative outlet, but it's also just like, I don't know, my YouTube community is just like my little happy place. I feel like I, I love being on YouTube the most. Like if I had to pick one social media platform to be on for the remainder of my days, it would definitely be YouTube. That's where I started. I just feel like it's like my comfort place. I don't know. I just, I really love it. And I feel like I worked really hard to learn how to create video content in like longer format, which I think is part of the reason why I'm like dragging my feet a little bit on like learning how to do TikToks and stuff. Like I know how to do them for work, but like posting them on my own just because I don't know. I just love the longer form video. I know TikTok has the like 10 minute video, but 
I don't know. And I just love the landscape. I think that's like super millennial of me to love the landscape style video rather than the like vertical phone video now that's super popular on TikTok or portrait. I guess that's what it's called. So yeah, we're just, we're plugging along. We're getting there one day at a time. So <sighs> Thank you for being my therapy and letting me kind of release some of that into the internet. Like, <laughs> I feel like I haven't really gotten to talk about everything that happened. Not that like anything major happened, but like, it was kind of a lot, you know? Like it was, it was, it was very intense, lots of pain. So I am happy to report that I am feeling better and I am on the mend and I am ready to, I'm just ready to go. So we shall see how this appointment goes. I hope that we are able to get things fixed. Oh, and like the worst part of this whole thing was that I had a good dentist that I had gone to for many, many years, but I had been like pretty interested in getting more like holistic and like a little bit more natural with basically all of my care providers. And so in doing that, I just didn't have like a good relationship with anybody with any dentists or doctors at that time and so when this happened I was like literally googling dentists I was like okay <laughs> you know I need to find somebody so that I can go see them and like you know oh, so that was another like added stress it's like I was going to somebody new so I didn't really like know what to expect so <laughs> oh my gosh it was just a time you guys it was it was low key, just like a time. Oh man. Okay. And I don't have any paydays this week. I think we're going to probably do a family night, but I don't need, know if I need to mark that. Let's see. Do I have oh, adventure birthday celebrate? Maybe I'll do one of these celebrate stickers on the Mother's Day thing. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the yellow one. Maybe yellow is so hard to see, but I think it's so cute and bright. Okay. There's that. And then, okay, that's plan. Okay, maybe we'll do important on that Tuesday appointment that I have. So I'll put it underneath. I just kind of like these little scripty stickers. I think they're cute. Okay, there's that. And now I will go ahead and actually, I want to get like a long sidebar sticker in here to see, let's see. Let's see what we have. Do we have any options for that? I think that's what I was looking for when I actually pulled those out. So, okay, today's plans. That actually looks kind of cute. We might use that. Although it should be like this week's plans. Weekly menu plan. Um, I have some menu planning sheets, but I haven't really been using them. So that could be an option. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we also have, I think those are daisy ones though. Yeah, those have daisies on them. Okay, we've got those. Any other longer ones? Let's see. I don't know if I do. I might, I don't know if I want to do the menu plan though. What else is in here? Are there any long stickers in here? I can't tell. <laughs> I always forget what is in each sticker book. I wish that I had a better memory of like what stickers are in here or maybe like a, there was a table of contents in each one. I don't know, but I need something. Okay, so let me look back at that menu plan. Maybe we want to do that. <laughs> do, do, do. It's like, okay, or the today's plans. We could switch that. Like we could just cut that off and have it be something else. I think I'm going to. I'm going to just chop that because it's not today. Like that would be good if I was using it for like a whole day, which sometimes I do use these on just a day and have that be like a checklist day, but not here. So then maybe I'll put something else cute there. What else can we put there that is super cute? One of these, one of these current mood happy today. I think I might do that current mood happy one. That's cute. Okay, so then I think I need to like hook this on here first so that I can get them both down together and 
have enough room. Or maybe put this one first. Okay, that one first. And then we'll put this fun checklisty situation here. Adorable. Oops. Okay, it's, oh, it's straight enough. It is good. Okay, and then maybe we'll do this other disc sticker down there. I think that's cute. Adorable. Okay, that's cute. And then maybe there was, okay, where did that go? This, oh geez. There was, oh yeah, these little stars in between. Yeah, these are hooked together. That's cute. We'll put those there. Oh my gosh, I actually was unsure how I felt about this spread, but now I think it looks so stinking cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I think I might also put these other little glasses in here. Since I have some over there as well. And then maybe some of these. Also, I'll put this, oh, that looks cute with the other disc sticker there. And then I love this little rainbow heart. Mm, although I feel like it should be a disc if I'm gonna put something else there. Maybe we do, mm, yeah, maybe we do a couple. I think I wanna put a few more of the like tiny discs around. They're just so cute and they can fit in so many cute places. It'd be nice to have little like clusters of them in just kind of like on their own, not hooked to the bigger ones. I think that'll be cute. And then, then we will be done. <laughs> I hope I'm not adding like too many, but I just love these little disc stickers and I just want to take advantage of using them. I think they're so cute. <laughs> Oh yeah, so working through a little bit of a stressful time. Also, when I was on antibiotics, I totally forgot like how bloated they make me. I was not prepared for that. Like, so not only did I have this like toothache that I was dealing with and like this terrible pain, but I also had this like indigestion and like, oh my gosh, it was so bad, you guys. I did not remember that part of taking antibiotics. Like I know that it messes with your stomach, but like it messed with my stomach. I think it's because I had not been on them in so long. Like I'm not really one that gets sick very often or has to take medication. And so having that, like so thankful of course for antibiotics and you know, they're there when you need them. But like, man, that was rough for sure. Um, but I definitely was like trying to get in all my like probiotic type foods and all of that. So yeah, I was definitely trying to do what I can um, to make sure my tummy was getting back to back to good. But it was it was seriously rough, you guys. It was terrible. Um, so yeah, and then I just felt so bad because. Uh, oh, and the other thing is Harrison and I went on a field trip together on Friday. That was fun. Um, I went just for like a couple of hours with his school to a field trip and oh my gosh, it was so fun. His little classmates are so adorable. He is in first grade and it was just, it was so cute. And I got to meet all of his like little friends because he takes the bus. So I don't like pick him up from school. So I don't get to see like the other kids very often. And oh my gosh, they were so cute. And I was like a little parent chaperone. It was so fun. Um, but anyway, like I was so bummed because if I had not started feeling better, I was like possibly not gonna get to go. And he was so sad. And the other thing is because he's got a bee allergy, if I didn't go, he was not gonna get to go. So he was gonna be so bummed. And we went to the Hoyt Arboretum in Portland. Uh, which is like a, they described it, self-described, as a tree museum, and it was very cool. We learned a lot about trees and nature and did some walking and all of that. Um, so yeah, okay, so now, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love a full spread, and this one is very full and decorated. It looks so cute. Um, I'm very excited about it. Okay, so now I'm going to add the pen, and then I will see you right back at the end.
friends that is the spread with a little bit of pen on there and I oh my gosh I don't even know what the name of this VB pen is I got it on an imperfect sale but it's so fun I love it I'm so excited about it it doesn't really match my setup right now but I do not care it is so pretty and it's gonna go right there in my pen holder but this is my spread for this week I hope you all are doing fantastic. I am doing much better. So I hope that you are having a great week and I am sending you all of my love and positive vibes. If you are new here, hello, my name is Caitlin. I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you are one of my current friends, followers, or all of those things or any of those things. Thank you so much for being here and thanks again for checking in on me and all of those good things and sending me all of your love and positive energy. Here is your internet hug for the day. If you'd like to find me anywhere else, you can find me on Instagram at creating in chaos underscore official as well as over on the Spice Chaos podcast. We have a new episode coming out on Tuesday. Super excited to chit chat with all of you over there as well. So make sure that you are following us on your favorite platform. I like to listen to podcasts over on Spotify and on the Anchor app, but you can also find us on Google Play and the Apple Podcast app. <laughs> Apple Podcasts, I think. Yes, that's the one. Um, so you can find us over there and all of that good stuff. And then if you are shopping any of your favorite planner brands, don't forget to check for affiliate links and coupon codes in the description box below. And by the way, you guys have fun today.